Hey, we're up here at Rock Creek near Waynesville looking for a couple Revolutionary War soldiers, so we'll see if we can find them. Pretty good sized cemetery, cemetery, uh, cemetery for out in the boonies. Well, let's see. We're just kind of wandering through. Yeah, so let's go over here. Okay. Yeah, here's one. Boy, you can't hardly read it anymore. Vincent in the Revolutionary War Soldier. So, let's see, now we're looking for John Scott. I have my wife and grandson helping. This was the Vincent over here. Yep. So, on we go. Now we're looking for Mr. Scott. I always hate to see this kind of stuff here. Tombstones, headstones that nobody knows where they go. 1862. Yes. Oh, here it is. John Scott. May 30th, 1763 to 1847. Age 83 years, nine months, 14 days, a revolutionary soldier, cool. And I'm gonna put this flag back up. Looks like it's busted off. So we'll just set it here. There we go. And so while we're here, we're going to look at a few more. Oh, wow. Check this out. This is cool. Almost looks like a real person staying in there. Look at this. Erected by Thomas Franklin Scott in loving memory of a devoted wife and mother. Look at that, Sophia Scott. It looks real, doesn't it? Got a hat, a necklace on, the concrete. The husband Thomas, 1860, 1941. Let's go look on the other side. Ah, nothing on the other side. There's one picture of family. And that is a Bernie Scott Ives. Now we'll just wander through here. A lot of unique stones out here. Cool. But that by far, with that lady, that is very cool. Never seen anything like that. And we're kind of in a newer part over here. So I'm going to stick to the old part. Let's see what this one says back here. It's actually kind of warm today. Warmer than it's been. Let's see. This is James 
land. 1868 was only 26 years old. And he was born in 1860, was 48. That's the thing with these old ones. A lot of them you can't read. Been here a hundred and some years. Yeah, there's some there that's fallen over. Let's go back and see what this one is. Some Huggums. Now, there's a Huggum in uh, Bloomington that uh, was a Revolutionary War soldier, was 101 when he died. This is Andrew, was 52, died in 1887. And this is, oh, this is Andrew, died in 1888. This was his wife, Mary. And over here, let's see, she was 31. Graham. I'll just pan around here a little bit. So it's a really nice cemetery. It's called Rock Creek. It's by, kind of by Waynesville, Illinois, not too far from there. It's out in the middle of nowhere and there's nothing around, just crops. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, appreciate it if you subscribe. Thanks a lot.